WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here with the uh, Wednesday, the 30th, last day of, uh, of November uh, session. And we're looking at uh, at 11 o'clock, we're looking at the Dow down 202 at 32,649. Uh, it's gone underneath yesterday's tiny little doji candle. Is this going to be a halfway marker for a pullback? Or by the end of the day, are we going to have after the Fed speak, or are we going to have a bit of a bounce? We're looking at the S&P, which is holding way better. Uh, I think it's JP Morgan. There are a couple of stocks that are impacting the down negatively here. Uh, Triple M, I guess, as well. We're looking at the uh, S&P down 11 at 3946. It hasn't taken out yesterday's low. So we're watching this closely. And the 9 is still above the 14. So that's good. But look how it's failed in the weekly chart to take out that inside track repellent zone. Uh, so we're going to be monitoring this uh, all week because it's very important as we go into uh, into December what exactly we're looking at, the, how the candle of November finished. We're looking at the QQQ uh, pulling back uh, from its high today, but still up 31 cents at 280.88. Holding okay, but yesterday went under the left side low. It's a technique I call the dreaded H pattern. How it handles this chap wave inside track repellent zone in the weekly chart is going to be so important going into Friday's close. IWM was a little bit weaker. IWM is uh, down 75 cents to 181.61. Also kind of struggling to get those moving averages to hold positive. They almost are going to turn negative gold. Uh, gold is pulling back from its high today. It hit 1779, the continuous contract is down at 1765. It's just kind of struggling here. Big digester phase after a huge move up. Looking at the dollar trying to rally, uh, it's up about uh, six cents, uh, six ticks, that is 106.89. Uh, the 200 period moving average magnet at 105.71. It's going to stay there until it can get, if, if the dollar can get to 108.30, that's really good. Hasn't done that yet. Looking at um, TLT, which is the uh, yields, the yields are uh, at this particular point rising just a little bit. TLT is down six cents after making a peak. It could digest gains just for a little bit. We'll see what the Fed does. That's going to impact it as well later today. We're looking at crude oil, which had a really nice uh, bounce earlier on. Still up $2 at 80.27. Um, is it going to change the trend from lower highs to lower and lower lows to the higher highs and higher lows? We'll see. over the, If a week from today, Wednesday week, uh, crude oil is actually in the 83, 84 area. That's going to be a big deal. Uh, stay tuned. Great pro programming coming up. I will be back later on, 3 o'clock this afternoon, to do the Tom O'Brien Show. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. See you a little later. Have a great rest of the day.